Hello and welcome to today's episode of the Elite Health and Wellness Show. My name is Clay and I'm one of the owners and founders of EliteHealthOnline.com. Today we have special guest, Michaela Rivera. Michaela is our Director of Scientific Affairs and Business Development. And today we're going to be talking about a really cool new product that she has helped innovate called the Elite Anti-Aging Capsule. There's going to be some things in here that you have heard of, some that you have not, uh, but they are very popular. Remember, all of these things come in a prescription from a prescribed doctor, so you know you're getting something reliable and not something from a supplement industry where, quite frankly, it's not regulated. So we're going to jump into that topic today. Michaela, thanks for being here. Thank you. A pleasure as always. Awesome. So the anti-aging capsule. So there's probably some people right now going, oh man, I don't know about that. <laughs> uh -huh. Is that possible? Um, we're not necessarily talking always about life extension. We're talking about quality of life Absolutely. and slowing down the aging process. So mm -hmm. tell us, what is it? Who's it for? Let's walk through it. Well, I'm happy you brought that up. So, you know, in the anti-aging sphere, I think it's always important to note that there's no you know, magical drug that will keep you your same age forever. There's no fountain of youth sort of thing. Um, the goal with any anti aging based medication, especially NAD boosters, mTOR inhibitors that, you know, we carry through Elite Health Online, is to aid in progressive aging. So aging really is defined as the continuous decline in quality of life. It really is just a buildup of damage, um, telomere attrition. So people who know what telomeres are, they're little protective caps on your chromosomes. As you get older, they get shorter and you start to compromise the integrity of your chromosomes. That just leads to you know more predispositions for cancer um, and a decline in cognitive health and really just an eventual drop in the mm -hmm. quality of life. Mm -hmm. um, the most innovative medications now. What they hope to do is give people a longer lifespan because with a longer lifespan comes the opportunity. Um, you know, the opportunity meaning you get more time with your grandchildren. Um, you feel better in your older years. You have better cognitive function and you're warding off the potential for neurodegenerative disease. Um, in these capsules that we've designed are a couple different things. One of the main components being NMN. Anyone who's seen our previous podcast I'm assuming is familiar with NMN, and if you're not, please go back and watch some of the, you know, interesting talks we've had on NAD. The goal of NMN is to increase your intracellular NAD concentration. So NAD drops, um, you know, they say starting at the age of 20, uh, about 10% every 10 years. Mm -hmm. So similarly, almost to human growth hormone. Uh, but it's much more significant in your later years as, as you start to build up immune system reactions that consume NAD. Um, in this capsule are a few other components called resveratrol, quercetin, and CoQ10. The goal of those, and we'll elaborate on them a little bit more, is to exacerbate the effects of NMN. Um, and this is proven in literature that taking so NMN... This is a synergistic effect. Yes, so just boosting the initial effects that NMN offers, um, while also still giving their own, their own benefits, you know? So NMN, of course... I'm happy to dive into. Mm -hmm. Let's hear it. Yeah. So NMN is nicotinamide mononucleotide. Um, people are like, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. um, it's just a, it's a base, a sugar, and a phosphate. Um, and so it has, you know, it's comparative to NAD. NAD is nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. What it does is it powers all your cells. So I think it's probably best that we go back and say, who's a candidate for this? Yeah, yeah. We're, let's talk about that. Yeah. So I turned 50 this last year. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you start to wake up and you're like, how did I get here? What happened? <laughs> um, and you start thinking, okay, I've got kids gr graduating college. I want to be around. And also, I want to be around and be healthy. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to get in the floor and play and do those things. So where do you start with this? Is it a, sure. is it a drug for the, the guy like me that's, you know, getting in the back half of his life, right? Or is it even for someone in their 30s or 40s? Who's it for? Really, anyone. I take NMN. My right. husband takes NMN, and I tell anyone that I really interact right. with that this is mm -hmm. a great drug, regardless of how old you are. Um, at the indications for people who, you know, would benefit from NMN are so wide. It's everything from, you know, of course, mm -hmm. those those expected anti-aging benefits and all longevity. So the longevity aspects really is supported mm -hmm. in a lot of model organisms, um, including yeast and mice. Right. It would be hard to do it in humans because our lifespan is right. so long. But in these model organisms, the extended lifespan is very supported. But also in patients who, you know, have cognitive difficulties. Maybe you're on stimulants and you're like, I don't want to take 
I don't want to be dependent on Adderall anymore. Mm-hmm. NAD and NMN, the, they have great benefits in boosting cognition. Yep. Downstream is people who, you know, it, it does play, especially with resveratrol, it does play a great role in your cholesterol levels and giving you better lipoprotein levels. So it's a lot like health, right? Yeah. Why do we want to let our health deteriorate and then try to get healthy? That's really hard to do. You see people mm-hmm. in the gym all the time that, you know, try to go from really being out of shape, bad joints and correct that. And it can be done. We're not saying that it can't, but it's a lot harder. And you really have a hard time reversing that damage sure. that you've done versus working out your entire life, staying at an ideal body weight and mm-hmm. doing that yeah. as a lifelong habit. Be the same thing with the anti-aging approach. Um, why wait? I even heard the other day that they're now saying that, yes, Botox works for people who are starting to see wrinkles and crow's feet and things like that. But they're saying now start Botox in your late 20s. Baby then Botox. Then you'll never go to, you know, one, you don't have to up the dose. Two, you won't have to do it as drastically mm-hmm. because you will never start getting the wrinkles. Absolutely. And it's a, pro- you know, the goal here is one thing that, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people who are really well versed in, in medicine and in the healthcare system mm-hmm. is preventative medicine. Right. It's not really acknowledged. Just, I mean, you don't get coverage, healthcare coverage for preventative medicine. Right. The government system doesn't really recognize it as something mm-hmm. that, you know, they're willing to cover. So we have to take that into our own hands. And one thing that, you know, we say all the time is be the CEO of your own health. And being the CEO of your own health, one of the benchmarks, you know, along with hormones and uh, you know, comprehensive health associated with diet and exercise and lifestyle changes is anti-aging medicines that you really can't get from your diet. Mm-hmm. And, you know, no matter, of course, you know, one of the best ways to mimic these effects, you know, of NMN and resveratrol, kerosene is intermittent fasting. That's, you know, another mm-hmm. lifestyle effect that can really help boost your NAD levels. But using oral options from an FDA-approved wholesaler, so I want to stress that these are pharmaceutical-grade ingredients, not just pharmaceutical grade, they come from a pharmacy. They come from a pharmacy right. and they come from FDA approved wholesalers. Yeah. So they're a concentrated, you know, form that comes with mm-hmm. a certificate of analysis saying this is what it is. Right. We know that this is it. And it is sterile. It is It also efficient. Re- requires a prescription. Yes. And it requires a prescription. So, right. you know, NMN has been very well researched. And people right. who are familiar with David Sinclair know mm-hmm. or the University of Washington are two Harvard and the University of Washington are two institutions that are very you know, strong advocates for NMN and anti-aging medicine. Mm -hmm. Um, And they've been doing research on this since the 90s. You know, the big, the first big studies on NMN started coming out in, you know, 2003, I Mm -hmm. think, you know. Um, But recently the FDA did receive NMN and we're like, okay, this qualifies as a drug. We're going to investigate this as a drug. And because of that, it was pulled from all supplemental markets. What that means is that this compound, this, you know, what used to be a supplement, this drug Mm -hmm. has the potential to create very amazing advances in healthcare. And the FDA recognizes that. And so therefore it has been pulled from the supplement market. If you are interested in NMN, I strongly encourage you to go to the Elite Health Online website and see what other formularies we have with NMN in it and know that you're getting NMN from a reliable source. And when you talk about the fact, just for a second, and then we'll move on to some other things, but when you talk about the fact that it requires a prescription, people start to think, oh, well, that means I got to pay for an office visit and I got to go to the doctor and then get this script and Mm -hmm. really not that complicated. At Elite Health Online, we have created a process where you can simply go onto our store, click on Refill Store, and there you can simply click on this anti-aging capsule. You can answer a virt- what we call a virtual visit, which is seven questions, I think, tops, a couple of acknowledgments, and as long as you qualify and your health is in good shape, um, we'll simply process your credit card and send that medication directly to your door within 48 to 72 hours. So mm-hmm. this isn't hard to get, um, but there are some sites out there that'll claim that they're selling NNM and some other products that we know are classified as drugs and they're not necessarily yes. possible to get without a prescription. And yet there are sites selling them. Yes. So that means you're not getting the real deal. Or, you know, they're like NR, right? So nicotinamide right. mononucleotide is a pretty big molecule. Like I said, it's a base of sugar and a phosphate. There is another molecule that's been studied called nicotinamide mm-hmm. riboside. So this is the base in the sugar. It's usually a little cheaper for people to buy. Right. The problem is that in literature, NMN was almost always more effective than NR. So it's one molecule off. Yeah, it's one. Well, it's a phosphate off. And usually the right. phosphate's a little bit more expensive, which is why, you know, people right. might mislead and add NR instead of NMN. 
which is, you know, a shame because like I said, in literature, NMN was more effective in advancing the lifespan of, of mice versus mm -hmm. NR. So this just goes back to making sure, you know, that you have a reliable source for your, you know, whether it's peptides, whether it's hormones or, or other supplemental markets, right. making sure that you're getting it from a licensed healthcare provider who has access to FDA approved sources. So before we move on to rapamycin, which is another anti-aging treatment, longevity treatment, really. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I say often the best products, often people know that they're on them. They can feel it. Mm -hmm. So when you get on your hormones, your HRT, you know, your libido goes up, your energy goes up, your strength goes up. <laughs> When you take a phetamine based product, you feel the energy and <laughs> yeah. the focus. Um, those are the products often though, but when you take like a vitamin D or your omegas and your vitamins, often you don't know you're taking it in faith mm -hmm. that this product is good for my health, that I need these, you know, Thanks. elements in my yeah. body, right? Mm -hmm. I need minerals, these minerals, sure. whatever. Is NNM, this anti, in this combination of reversitol and other drugs, mm -hmm in the anti-aging capsule. Is this something they're gonna feel and notice or is this a, hey, it, it's factual, we have the science, but you need to take it in faith and know that you're gonna reap these benefits Don't internally sure. within your DNA and within your cells and you're gonna see it play out over your life. So I'll speak anecdotally, but I'll give a little bit you know, more of an explanation. NMN has its great benefits that are really well known. Um, it's a great, you know, Gero protector. It protects people from aging. It activates a subset of genes called sirtuins. Sirtuins are essentially your longevity genes. What they are is they're responsible for repairing your DNA, protecting your DNA, modulating the immune response, and essentially just extending lifespan. The other things in there, you know, resveratrol is something that's found in red wine. Mm -hmm. um, it's really derived from grape skins, and it's a it's a phenol that really has really great benefits. I remember back in 2003, there was a uh, article posted in Nature. Uh, David Sinclair played a big role in that. And after they talked about resveratrol acting, you know, really on the same pathway as rapamycin as an mTOR inhibitor and having great results in extending lifespan and other model organisms, red wine sales were up like 30%. Mm. And people were like, I have to have it. Um, it's a great anti-inflammatory and an antioxidant. Same with quercetin. They just quercetin. didn't tell them they had to drink. Yeah, you know, 100 glasses bottles. of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is like, hey, if you're going to weigh the benefits of anti aging to 100 glasses of wine a day, right. I mean, I, I think we all. There's other ways that. to get yeah. that. There's other ways mm -hmm. to get it. And like with anything that you know you have access to through foods, like quercetin, right? Quercetin, the best access to quercetin is in the food, superfood group of capers. Not everyone likes capers. I do. I mean, I love a chicken micata, right? But I would have to eat so many capers mm -hmm. to have even a tiny little modicum yeah. amount of, of quercetin. Anything that you decide to use, CoQ10, right, is also in there. You, while you can get these through foods, you would need a crazy amount of high quality foods mm -hmm. and the expense would be set off. It, it wouldn't, it wouldn't well, make like sense creatine. to do that. A lot of people have, anyone who's ever used creatine knows that it works. I mean, yeah. You don't have to try it long yeah. to know that your strength it goes burns, up. And, and you can get it from your meat products, but you'd have to eat so much meat um, <laughs> yeah. you know, to really get the benefits that mm -hmm. when you take it. So, so back to true. your original question, mm -hmm. I would say from my personal experience that when you take NMN, you know that it's working. Mm -hmm. um, because you know NMN and NAD play really strong roles in your circadian rhythm. So you usually see a heightened sleep quality. But on top of that, you know, the things like lowering your LDL and helping with your kidney and your liver function, which are seen with the combination of these drugs, um, that's something that, you know, you'll see in your lab work or you'll see really over the course of time while, yeah. while you age. Mm -hmm. um, but when it comes to cognition, um, yeah, you're going to know. You're gonna know. Yeah. You know, I've heard it called in the past, you know, in my pharmaceutical days, mm -hmm. people would call it God's Adderall. And... While it's not a stimulant, these are all things, like we said before, that are available to you, you know, through, you know, the mm. things that God gave to us, mm. foods, um, and they make each other more effective. So statistically, qu using quantitative data, they suggest that using NMN with these, you know, constituents, resveratrol, quercetin, CoQ10, can increase your intracellular pools of NAD by, it was 1.6 to 1.7%. Mm. So it's about, makes the NMN about roughly twice as effective when used in combination right. versus when used alone. Awesome. I think everyone's got a good grasp on the elite anti-aging capsule. Let's talk for just a few minutes about something that I'm on as well, which is rapamycin. Mm -hmm. I started on this, I guess, probably 12 weeks ago and committed to doing that based on the research that uh, I read. Um, 
and what it has to do with longevity and how it helps. And again, I don't, this one, you certainly don't know that you're on. <laughs> yes. This one is like taking your vitamins and your minerals. It's a faith thing. Mm -hmm. um, but the data was certainly there. So yes. combining these two together for life extension and um, longevity. Talk to us about rapamycin, sure. also available at Elite through the same process. Sure. So while NMN, you know, resveratrol, kerosidin, they're, what's, they're search when activators, mm -hmm. right? Resveratrol also plays a role with what is called mTOR. Rapamycin is an mTOR inhibitor. What mTOR does, without getting too into the nitty gritty, is it tells your body that you're almost in a state of starvation. Mm -hmm. Everyone's like, why would I do that? For the same reason that you would want to use calorie restriction right. or intermittent fasting. It makes your body think, I don't have any protein. No, I don't have nutrients. Right. So I'm going to go remove the senescent cells or the cells that are you know, unique in that they're not dividing and they're not becoming personalized anymore. They're essentially just sitting there and secreting inflammatory factors and contributing to aging. They're releasing things that wreak havoc on your tissues and really deteriorate your quality of life, especially over long periods of time. Right. Rapamycin tells your body, we need to kill those guys. We need to get rid of them and recycle their constituents, the proteins that they're composed of, so that we can use them and direct them to the vital parts of our body. Right. You know, it's like when you think of, you know, in like history mm -hmm. or, or folklore, mm -hmm. the people who lived forever were usually really thin, mm -hmm. usually very slim, right. right? That's because that's how mTOR works. Right. It makes your body think, yes, I'm in a state of starvation. And back, you know, in folklore, really they were in a state right. of starvation. Yep. Nowadays, we have access to these medicines that don't require you to starve yourself, right. but to give yourself those benefits of, you know, ac inhibiting mTOR and letting your body optimize where it's allocating resources and you know like you said before rapamycin is arguably the best studied most supported anti-aging medicine yeah. um what creates that that the, the makes the body feel like it's in that starvation it sets that same pathological process off or not pathological but that same process off mm -hmm. um all the data around intermittent fasting shows that if if the body wasn't designed to work well in starvation we're very used to, mm -hmm. Abundance. oh, I got to eat. <laughs> yeah. But in war, when, when there's a war going on and you're on the field and soldiers are battling, they don't get to stop and eat. Mm -hmm. If the body couldn't perform at peak performance when it's in starvation mode, that's when those um, ketones kick in and the brain functions different. Certainly got to go through the pains. <laughs> yeah. But it's also a biblical principle throughout all, not just the Bible, but in all religions, fasting is recognized as a good thing to do. I don't yeah. think... Um, that would be there if it weren't good it for the body. Yeah. And so, yes, you should do intermittent fasting. It stimulates all the things you talked about. But mm -hmm. it sounds to me like you're saying rapamycin does that without actually having to go through the, the steps of doing intermittent yeah. fasting. Well, I'm happy you bring that up. You know, it comes back to things like rapamycin is not really a lab-made right. thing. You know, there are rapalogs that are, mm -hmm. you know, used more commonly in, in immunosuppressants right. uh, because they're just better at wa water solubility. Right. Rapamycin was found on an island called Rapa Nui. Rapa Nui is Easter Island. Mm -hmm. um, it was found as part of a, a mold on back of one of the statue heads. So it just goes back to, you know, these things that we need for longevity. You know, metformin, for example, is another, mm -hmm. you know, medicine that's argued as another great anti-aging medication, berberine. You know, metformin is derived from French lilac. It's something here on mm -hmm. the earth, you know, right. that, that God gave us, that we have the ability to extend our lifespan. And not only that, but give us progressive aging. Right. You know, we're going to maintain our cognitive health. Rapamycin has great and, and anti-tumor, anti-pathogen mm -hmm. properties. Yeah, I think they used it in some dog studies for yeah. sure. And the Washington. dogs lived like twice as long. Right now, right. actually, you could go to the University of Washington study, uh, their mm -hmm. website, and enter your dog in. The, you know, it's a placebo study. It would be so hard to do in humans because humans just live so much longer. I mean, there are studies going on. We just don't have conclusive data. Mm -hmm. But in dogs, you can go and they'll either send you a placebo or, or the actual rapamycin. And, you know, you can send your mm -hmm. data in and, and contribute to this study of how effective rapamycin is. I to put Dallas on some rapamycin. Say, I'll put my dogs on, right? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, anything else to add before we uh, kind of talk about again how to get these uh, two wonderful medications? And the only other thing I would say is, you know, NMN is a great drug because it has great oral bioavailability. Um, NMN or NAD, excuse me, is the end goal of NMN. NAD is is not great when taken orally, but it can be given in a subcutaneous or intramuscular mm -hmm. injection through Elite Health Online. Um, in literature, you know. 
before 2012 when they discovered the SLC transporter, they thought that NAD was too big. That, oh, if we, you know, inject it, it's too big to get into the cells. There is a transporter specifically to bring NAD into the cells. So the, the purpose of bringing this up is that you can take NMN, NAD, and rapamycin at the mm-hmm. same time. You know, I give you, the, right? I was like, give you the whole comprehensive right. anti-aging protocol. Right. You know, there's, there's no, there's really no contraindications using NMN or NAD. Yeah. The drug interactions are so small. Yeah. Rapamycin really is advised for population of, of post-reproductive age. But if you're curious about any of these things, yeah. you know, our providers are so well educated yeah. in them. Yeah. Fantastic. Thanks for being here today. Of course. Appreciate it. All right, folks, thank you again for uh, listening into today's podcast. Check out our other podcasts on our YouTube channel. And again, if you're interested in any of these products, hormone replacement therapy, weight loss, wellness, anti-aging, simply go to EliteHealthOnline.com. There you have two options. If you're ready to book an appointment with one of our providers via telehealth and get medication delivered to your door, just simply click book telehealth. If you have questions, want to talk to one of our wellness experts, you can click on get started there. You can schedule a free 15 minute call. Uh, One of those folks will walk you through the process, tell you about pricing and everything else that you need to know. We hope to see you online and check us out again in the future on all of our podcasts.